Hi and welcome to Geek Legion of Doom. This is a Be Me review. Today I'm going to be having a look at Crocodile, directed by Tobe Hooper. Now, I'll say from the get go, I'm probably going to be a bit controversial on this review. So, this film was made to be a cheapy film. Um, it was. It came out in the UK direct on this Hollywood DVD label, which is basically a straight to DVD bargain basement. And I can't imagine it did much more elsewhere, really. But I would say this film's actually quite underrated. There are quite a lot of these kind of creature features, especially these days when you've got Mega Croc versus something, something else. But this one is sort of less, less sort of fantastical. Um, and I think the special effects are pretty decent in this one as well. So it, it does have CGI in it, but there, there's quite a lot of practical effects in it. Now, basically the, the story, this is probably where it's, it is a little bit lacking. It's fairly unoriginal. It's basically a group of a group of uh, young adult teens kind of going into the sort of the wilderness and sort of for partying and basically get picked off by a giant crocodile. So that's all fairly standard. And the acting certainly isn't too bad, but it's you know it's nothing to write home about. And there's pretty much a cast of unknowns, and you you know you you kind of won't remember them. But if they don't do a bad job, but you'll be, you'll be kind of laughing, thinking, "Oh my god, that was terrible." So passable acting. But I, I would say, I would suggest a decent decent special effects and fairly well directed. So obviously Tobe Hooper, who did direct this, obviously did um, you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Poltergeist. So there's you know he's got a good pedigree, and I think it shows in this film. Now this film will probably get slated on the majority of review sites, but I'm going to actually defend this film. So if you've not seen it and you've been put off by then, I would actually say give it a watch. Um, now they had a, had a sequel which was pretty rubbish and was basically a CGI fest. So if you have seen the second one first, then don't judge this film by that. I'm not suggesting it's going to be a masterpiece, but I certainly think it is underrated because purely it came out to be a, a cheapy film and people just kind of tarred it with that brush. I'd actually say it's probably better than the, sort of the higher budget versions like, like your Lake Placids and stuff like that. So if you like your trick creature features, I'll give this a, give this a watch. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know what you think and let me know how you think it compares to sort of the slightly higher budget ones like Lake Placid, like Rogue, like Primeval. Let me know in the comments and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. I'll give this one a six and a half out of ten.